My father really is a, an inventor. He has several U.S. patents for in the wire and uh, wire control industry. And probably just basically in the magnet wire industry per se, and also bare bare conductors and and the plated. And I first came up with a wire packaging system that uh, the industry had spent millions of dollars on. And uh, it, uh, when I was with the old Roebling Company, I was in charge of working that into the our system. And I kept telling the people, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And it would not register because they spent a fortune on establishing this particular pattern and, and before it was putting a, rotating a, a, a five gallon bucket and spewing the wire in the old fashioned way in a coil form. But uh, it didn't work properly because uh, uh, if it, it, and it was everybody in the industry in the winding end of it was going to high speed and this was an extremely low speed package. Uh, did you also not invent an airplane landing strip? Yes, indeed. Uh, I invented that. Uh, uh, it's a by uh, segments in the runway. Right what, what made me do it was I read an article in the aircraft magazine where they had tried to put uh, cobblestones uh, at the end of the runway to stop an airplane, and that was another disaster. <laughs> It just ruined the, the, the empionage section of the airplane because the stones would fly right up and 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 penetrate the wreck, wreck the whole airplane. So you came up with a different version I of it. I came up with a different version by uh, using pre-stressed units uh, in the end of the runway where the the, the tower can control uh, the, the the landing of the an aircraft by the size, the weight, and the speed by letting up on the, the cable tension on the pre-stressed timbers over a rubber matting and that was acting just like if somebody would walk or try to run or run or an automobile over a sand field and um, uh, it, it, it will work, it would work and I have heard nothing of it, I tried to, try to push it but uh, I didn't get any results whatsoever. Right. Not many patents actually bring people money, but you did make money on some of your patents. Oh, yes. Uh, one, one, one patent I have to tell you about, which was uh, very, very interesting, to me anyway, and that was drawing ultra-fine wire going down in the uh, triple aught sizes. And um, a Swiss engineer came to my house when I first thought of the idea and and he stood about a half an hour watching the machine run and he backed off and he says Ach! They've been going in the wrong direction! And I got a, I didn't even get a nickel out of it. And I know the people who have seen it copied it because it's uh, one of these things it's uh, not a very popular thing. It's a, But it is used today. Yeah. It is used today, yes. Okay, well thank you very much, Pop. The oldest inventor in North America, still active, still and, working and doing and stuff. And the wire packaging system that I developed um, while at the Roebling Company and uh, Hudson Wire Company was called a HUD pack, a tapered spool. And um, they could pull it at any rate of speed up to 5,000 feet a minute or 2,000 feet a minute, it didn't make any difference. And it's an international standard today. At Highland Hill Farm we have a lot of different kinds of trees for you. We have both deciduous and evergreen. Some of the spruces that we have are like Colorado Bruce spruce, Norway spruce, white spruce, Serbian, Black Hill Spruce, Black Spruce. We also have some firs such as Fraser, Balsam, Douglas, and Concolor. Most of these are in seedling or transplants. We do have larger trees such as White Pine, Norway Spruce. We also sell a whole range of arborvitas in many different sizes from transplants up to large trees. The trees that we sell are both bare root and bald and burlap and potted. We have thousands of them that we grow. We also have southwestern white pine, 
and we are noted for our green giant arborvitas and Leland cypresses. We also have hemlocks up to 10 to 12 foot high, along with redwoods. We can also supply you with some bald cypress, larch, eastern red cedar. In the way of shrubs, we have arrowwood viburnums, bayberry, black hall viburnums, a whole range of viburnums, dogwoods, red, twig, silky dogwoods, elderberries. We also have forsythia, common lilacs, Japanese lilacs, peking lilacs. We also have nanaberry, nine bark, and things such as Russian olive, which some people think are is invasive. But we do sell a wide range of trees and shrubs, including winterberry holly. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 as we do deliver and we deliver and plant.